Hi everybody, Pastor Terry here again. I hope you enjoyed tonight's story about David fighting the big man Goliath and knocking him out with just one little stone. But you know, before David became a warrior as a teenager, he was a shepherd. He took care of the sheep. Now, mine isn't as pretty as Miss Frieda's, but I made a harp tonight. Sounds pretty good, doesn't it? Well, David played the harp and he sang. He sang to the sheep to calm them down. And so tonight, when we think of his story, we're gonna to add to our shield of faith another symbol. But let's remind ourselves of that verse again from Ephesians. Put on all the armor that God gives you so that you will be able to stand up against the devil's evil tricks. So stand ready with the truth as a belt tight around your waist, with righteousness as your breastplate, and as your shoes, the readiness to announce the good news of peace. At all times carry faith as a shield, for with it you will be able to put out all the burning arrows shot by the evil one, and accept salvation as a helmet, and the word of God as the sword which the Spirit gives you. Think of the story we just read about David. Here's your shield of faith, and what was last night's symbol that we put on? We put on a basket. And tonight we're putting on a shepherd's staff for righteousness. A breastplate is something that covers your heart and protects your heart. But a shepherd's staff is a good symbol of protection as well. Do you remember how David talked about learning how to use the sling? He used the sling to protect his father's sheep and especially the young lambs from the lions and the bears. But what's that in his other hand, do you think? That's called a shepherd's staff or a shepherd's crook. And that is a way that he used to protect the sheep in his care. Sometimes he would fight animals with them, but other times he would use it to bring a lamb in. Because sometimes sheep wander off, and sometimes the lambs especially gets stuck and the shepherd can use that stick with the hook on the end to pull the lamb to safety. So I think that's a great symbol, don't you, for the righteousness of God. Righteousness means to live right before God, to do the things that God wants us to do. And one of the most important things God wants us to do is to love and care for other people. And so David was a good shepherd. David also wrote the Psalms in the Bible. Many of those were songs that he wrote, some that he sang to his sheep. The one that people know the best is called, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Psalm number 23 talks about how God loves and cares for us as a shepherd cares for a sheep and especially his little lambs. And so when we say the Psalms, we really should be singing them sometimes. And you know the word pastor is really the meaning of the word shepherd. So. You're all called to be shepherds to each other and to remember that the staff is to protect yourself against the devil, but also to protect others against the, sh the wolves and the bears and the things that would hurt the sheep. That means to care for people. One of the things we're doing in our mission is to bring in food or to provide some funds for food for people who are hungry. That's a wonderful way to care for other lambs.